What's up everybody, this is Technoblast. Thank you for tuning in, I really do appreciate it. And the game I'm going to talk about today is called Flying Tigers Shadows Over China. It is published and developed by Ace Maddox and it was released back in January 12, 2018. Uh, the game, a game key was provided for me by Ace Maddox so I can check out, review, and give you my thoughts about it. <clears throat> now, in this generation of Xbox and PlayStation, I haven't really noticed any aerial type games. You know, we have game um, games with with jet. You know, with airplanes like Battlefield 4 had their jets. Uh, Battlefield 1 got their air propeller air, airplanes. Uh, Call of Duty may have a you know kill streak airplane, but there's hasn't been, from what I notice, a game that's just pure aerial battle. And this is this is what Flying Tiger uh, fills in that void of that type of game. Uh, it's set in the World World War II, and you're mainly you know battling in China and some of the Pacific uh, areas during that time period. Um, and like I said, this is a pure aerial battle, so you you get to man different type of planes, uh, such as. The, the single fighter ones and then you have bombers where you drop bombs and there are some others smaller uh, fighter planes but that you can also drop bombs um, there's some air to air battles that you'll encounter there's also air to ground that you encounter and there's some structural um, you know battles that you have as well where you have to destroy a bridge or just or have or cause a landslide uh, to block off a, a road, so there's many different variations of missions, not not just air to air, or air to ground, uh, that makes this game different and fills in that fills that void in where there's not a pure aerial battle type game like Flying Tigers. <clears throat> Graphic wise, it's decent. Um, it's it's not 4K enhanced or anything. Uh, not sure what the maximum resolution is, but you can tell it's just it still needs some work um, to to up the the, the graphics. Uh, if it was uh, X enhanced, I think this would look you know will look a lot better. And but you know unfortunately I, you know you know how it is with developers they sometimes they can't or don't have the kit to uh, to enhance the game. Overall, it's a fun game. And like I said, there's not many games to compare it to because there's not really any. And if there is, let me know and I'll check it out. Um, so for what it is, it's a, it's a fun game. Uh, very easy to pick up. The controls are not difficult at all. And, uh, you know, you can put a good, I don't know how many hours I would say to finish the campaign. But there was a good number of, uh, good number of missions that, you know, that makes it, makes it worth it. Overall, I did enjoy the game. It was a lot of fun. It was different just because we don't have too many games like this. And and I did enjoy it. Uh, it can work. It, it does need a little work on the graphics side. Um, but, you know, that's something that they, they'll have to decide if they want to support this game. Um, so, should you buy it, rent it? Um, I would say rent it and check it out before you decide to, you know, pay full price for it, and um, I hope you too enjoy it. Alright, so I'm done for tonight. You guys check the rest of the video out and watch some of these cool videos, and if you like what you saw, you know, give my, give my video a like. If you like the rest of my content that I have to offer, uh, go ahead and subscribe, and, I, and I'll check you guys later. Techno Blast out.